Hello, warrior. I'm glad you're back on my channel or I'm back, whatever. And this is gonna be video number three or whatever, it doesn't matter. A video about what's going on right now. And do in the first videos we talked about uh, our staged history, staged events, and uh, science and religions and so on, and about fake history at all in general. And uh, if you haven't watched it, please watch it because you will not understand what I'm talking about right now. And uh, we were talking about different, different fakes that we live in completely bulk, in complete bullshit, in actually great, great, how to say, distortion, great liar, everything is liar and distortion, actually, yes. We all are depleted because uh, we are brainwashed, we are exhausted because all our energies is sucked by our enemy. And who is the enemy? What is the enemy? Uh, we will talk in this video. I already tried to tell you uh, who, who is she, who is our enemy. Uh, during the, the whole period of uh, existing of my channel, uh, actually it's about two years ago, I already, first time, I made a video about who is she and who is the enemy. And here we will talk about how she communicates with us. And if you remember, in the first videos, we, we talked about how, what symbolism our enemy is using, how magic of the movie, of the Hollywood is, how it works and how we interact with this. Because the only way to keep us in perfect illusion is to keep us brainwashed. And uh, in the previous video we were talking mostly about the way they brainwash us. That's the way how they were using magic, Hollywood's magic, Hollywood's magic to brainwash us. And how she sees. In many, many modern videos, we see the same tricks, the same ways, and the same approaches. I mean, tricks. And the same hints, actually. Because enemy must tell directly what's going on. Otherwise, she will be punished. It's a law of karma, law of boomerang, whatever. If I tell you something, you don't reply, it means you agree. You don't pay attention to so I'm free to do all I'm have declared to you and nobody put any condition nobody cares uh, in which way I should put my declaration in actually universal way of exposing my desires wishes is symbolism because symbols is universal universal language numbers and symbols and that's exactly the way enemy communicates with us using numbers 66 33 and so on it's their language language of the queen of the hive and symbols hollywood it's the way to brainwash us and put wrong symbols to make us go wrong way and liar is the main instrument of enemy. Actually, they don't lie directly. But the best way to lie is to tell 95% of the truth. For example, if we talk about events of 19th century, some rebels, some rebellions were, took place until you know, the beginning of 20th century. People came out of the underground and started, tried to resist. And they were destroyed by direct energy weapons, like the same way they were depressed and uh, destroyed. Resistance was destroyed in the uh, beginning of 19th century. And these direct energy weapons were used even in San Francisco, in 1906 uh, because we see the same traces like 
modern fires in California. Trees burning from inside, young trees still exist, and very, very heavy me metallic and stone uh, buildings destroyed. Just like in uh, some photos of civil war in USA, let's call it civil war. One building in perfect, in perfect condition and second completely ruined. So what kind of weapon could... It's definitely not cannons. And so on and so on. And some staged events like this, you know, some photos were absolutely staged, that's for sure, 100%. For example, this. Completely ruins, everything on fire and people in good dress just walking around. It looks like, you know, a group of tourists were brought here like here group of well-dressed tourists just walking in the streets i think it's a staged photo i mean photo is real but people were brought from somewhere else just to make this photo it's just my uh, guess okay but let's get back to zero our investigations how she sees and so on and about tricks and the way she sees how she sees Red Queen sees everything. I've made a bunch of videos about her. You're welcome to watch my channel. In the beginning, I will give you links in the description. And I was talking uh, about the way she keeps us in deception, in distortion and uh, perversion. Because the way we live, it's kind of perversion compared to uh, how we used to live Earlier, it's more it was more natural in my personal opinion, and I think that time is not like it's not the time we used to deal with. I mean, it's not the process itself. It's just, just the events go in one after another one, and in her mind, time as we know it don't exist. Because when she was making plan for our development of development of our civilization, it's not human civilization, it's a hive civilization, I think. Two hundred years ago, she had no time because a lot of events, a lot of, a lot of streams of events were launched at the right time, at the right place to be finished at one time. I think it's 2025, when everything must be ended. I mean, the whole process of chipization was supposed to be finished. And the next step is developing of the hive must be finished originally, according to original plan, in 2050. 2050. Why I think so? Because as she has no time, she was planning everything and using this way of thinking, facet vision, and vision with multiple places as one uh, puzzle vision. Let's call it puzzle vision. And she was using this puzzle vision to direct time also. In many movies, in many songs, they say, Freemasons, her aunts, people connected to the one global mind, were explaining that she rules the time. It means she has no time. Watch the movie Arrival and you will get some hints, you will understand what I mean. And one of the tricks, as a result, you know, as a conclusion of this vision, of this way of thinking, is predictive programming. She knows what's gonna be in the future. I mean, there is no future for her. Everything is now. Any moment is now for her. That's why she could predict CERN in many movies. She could predict 9-11 in many movies. Before it happens, of course, she created this. They created this. Freemasons. So-called free. They're not free. Freemasons did it. But they put it, some messages, left some messages long before 9-11 before 2001. That, why I think so? Because of, for example, 
this movie. And let's talk about it. Train driven by A little bit more. 1950s, avoiding the future plug. It's also one of the predictive programming movie. I think it's real. Yes, it's a combined, compiled and so on from other parts, other clips. But I think it's original. I have no proof, but our trolls who claim that it's not original movie and it was composed in 2020, they also have no proofs, absolutely. I have read many, many claims, but there is no proof of the claim. This movie is telling about plug in 2000. 20. He says to be accepted. People with nothing entertaining or informative to say will broadcast their demands for attention. They are saying about some stuff, you know, which we can realize that it is internet, for example, only today because there was no internet in 1950. Imagine being able to share your thoughts with millions of people at once simply by typing them on a keyboard and sending them through the air. It was told in 1950, guys, when there was no internet. And what, what next? What else? Yeah, it's a well-known movie. I think everyone has already seen it, but anyway, let's talk about it more. Think of what life will be like when all of the many fixtures of an office, including a typewriter and an entire Rolodex, can fit within a device smaller than a loaf of bread. I guess they're talking about notebook, computers. Maybe not, but it was in 1950 when they were talking about everything, which already accessible existing today, only today. Consider the vacation plans you could make when a single trip on an airplane is bright, but it isn't Whatever. without its darker sides. According to some predictions, obesity will likely run rampant and that's just like today, especially about corruption. Political corruption will become so commonplace as to be accepted. Just like today, but it's planned. It's part of the plan. It's not because nobody can beat corruption, scary corruption. It's bullshit. It's part of the plan. It's one of the instruments to control society. Corruption is part of the plan. People with nothing entertaining or informative to say will broadcast their demands for attention and... That's for sure. But let's move on. What's more important? Perhaps worst of all will be the emergence of a deadly and potentially devastating disease. It's one of the movies and I, I, I can tell you, I can show you much more in Russian, but it was in 70s. That's the first time the plug was in the 50s. It's the earliest mentioning of such a huge and devastating disease. Devastating. Think of the last time that you contracted influenza. Yeah, well, influenza. You were likely bedridden for days, having no appetite or desire to play games to the rest of the world. What's more important? What they tell where the origin of it? From somewhere in Asia to the rest of the world. Just like today, you know, they have told everything. With international travel being available to even the most common citizen. A That's why they will shut down all movement, all social activity and so on. They will kill our humanity. That's why I already predicted that how it's gonna be. I will, I will give you link in description to my video, one of the first videos where Actually, I knew how everything gonna be, and I was trying to tell you, to warn people about it. A sickness which would have been contained in years past will quickly spread to all corners of the globe. That's bullshit, actually, but that's the reality. That's how they want everything to be. Worse still, the fantastic technologies of the era, the instantaneous communication and the ability to spread misinformation will... They call it misinformation. Fact checkers, I love them. <laughs> Cause undue panic and unrest. Censorship, complete censorship. Screw our human rights, screw our constitutions, all over the world. It's global power, guys. It's global 
consciousness ruling everything. Global brain. I would call it brain, but it's part of the body now. Consciousness. While you may think that we have decades to prepare, the frightening truth is that we have already become susceptible to the spread of this upcoming... Yes, headache, come on. And, and so on and so on. I'll give you links in the description. And the declining standards for common hygiene will cause the release of marauding... And go on and go on. That's what we are having today. ...of their playmates rather than lecture one another about covering their mouths when they cough. Yes, use masks, social distances and so on. Bullshit, guys. The best protection is good immune system. When I was young, we didn't care about mask and everything. And we didn't even wash apples and so on. We just... If we scratch something, you know, we just put some... Like this. And, and that's it. And I survived. Everything okay. So how do we reverse this trend? How do we avoid the coming catastrophe? Many doctors would... And now, watch, listen attentively. That's what we have. That's a bullshit we have today. Suggest that we simply need to learn and practice better health habits. But and so on. Simple, but it's part of predictive programming like 9-11. Let's move on. Uh, it's YouTube, guys. And just like in Russian movie, it's just like in, King, in Kingsman, you see? This guy, from the movie, that season, this movie came up in 1959, guys. But he explains everything what we have today. How, who will act and react. And he explains the society we're gonna have today. Just like in Kingsman, they say that 90% of people must be killed. And we are completely brainwashed because this wonderfully bad Queen Bee. I already uh, told you when this all started. This psychology that what? One Queen can rule everybody. And how they brain brainwash us with this ideology. As I told you in previous movie, queen watch it. Bee. One female alone may be the queen bee. All the other females serve only the sacrifice. That's it. One queen. All other females, nothing. Especially males, they're just wasting material. They must protect, serve for pleasure, and die. Price themselves while tending the queen bee or defending her. That's it. That's what we have today, guys. That's all started at that time. The males of the species exist only to serve the queen's pleasure. That's it. And this is Freemason sign. Stairs. And light behind him. Watch. Everything is simple. Freemasonic movie. Look, everything else don't matter. Why I think it's not normal? Why I think this something started in 1955? Because in Russia, for example, we had totally different mentality. Please watch it. And then we go on. We'll start to talk about other st things, other stuff. Today's stuff. Father is coming, just a second, just watch it. Three daughters, it's one of the cartoon movie, but it represents the approach, the way how girls normally treat men in our past. Now it's totally different. How everything, uh, how uh, we were brainwashed, how everything was converted into totally opposite way, it's a good question, and let's explore it in the next part of the movie. Watch this one. Father has come. 
actually the head we call it head of the family have you noticed it must be more but what they have done just watch it simple what he's doing and what they do how they react when he comes as a sign of respect it was much deeper and originally it was cut but that's the way normally girls treat men in russia in this movie also the, the, it's a very famous movie of that time it shows it tells about a story about uh, Russian uh, Great October Revolution, actually. Uh, some people call it uh, Jewish Revolution, but it doesn't matter. But here they talk about men, how to respect and treat it, and so on. But now we have totally different. And we have her image everywhere. And signs of her image. It's simple. It's a, something rectangular. It's something like mirror. Sounds like facet vision. Watch this. Lady Gaga, Katy Perry and all others, they tell, they represent her and they tell her stories. Freemasonic stories. And I will tell you more about it. On Russian channel there is about 50 descriptions and explanations. And here it's like Independence Day. Queen of the Hive. It's like the Ender's Game. But in reality, she captured us. And here also, three, three, three. Normally it's three, three, zero, because six. Sometimes it's nice, it's nine, but that's the way she communicates with us. Through, via, Freemasonic. Symbolism and Freemasons. Lady Gaga is a perfect example how she explains everything and we will talk about it later here you can see her mask mirror coops and so on but enough for today and watch my explanation what's going on now and other parts of predictive programming in the next part thank you for your attention and see you in the next part